Mr. Case to do our invitation. That's right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to serve our students, Lord, like we do every month. Thank you for allowing us to meet once again to discuss the needs. Lord, we pray that you give us wisdom in making the decisions needed tonight. And pray that you uh, be with us as we go through this meeting. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Respect the pledge. Attention. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. DCHS senior Leonard Ruby was recently recognized as Leonard was recognized at the Optimist Club meeting back in February, but due to his soccer schedule, we had to postpone and work with him as to when he could be here. So he was recently recognized at the Trenton Date Optimist Club as the <coughs> DCHS 2023 star student. Ruby selected Miss Tanya Gatlin to serve as his star teacher. The STAR program, which stands for Student Teacher Achievement Recognition, honors Georgia's highest achieving students on the SAT and Georgia teachers that have made an impact on their academic achievements. You can read more about the STAR program recognition at their, at, on their website. But we congratulate Ribby on his achievement and Ms. Gatlin for investing in the lives of our students. And so pictured above here is uh, Leonard and uh, Ribby at the Optimist Club with Don Townsend on the left, and then obviously uh, Miss Tanya Gatlin and Don Townsend on the right. So at this time, Leonard, if you would come forward, I would like to take this opportunity to present you with a superintendent's pen of excellence. And if you can just kind of tell us what your plan is after you graduate. Okay. <laughs> well, when I graduate and in, in after the summer, I plan on attending Georgia Tech in the fall and studying chemical engineering. And I plan on getting at least a bachelor's degree and just go from there. That's about it. And so you chose Ms. Tanya Gatlin as your star teacher. Ms. Gatlin, you want to come forward? And why did you choose Ms. Gatlin to be your, your star teacher? Well, Ms. Gatlin's always just supporting me, no matter when, how, why. She's always there somehow, and every time I just have a problem, whenever she, I'll just go to her, and it's like she has a she has a solution to every I'll problem I have, <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps like motivating me. Miss nice. Gatlin, do you want to share a few words about? I would definitely. Leonard? Leonard is extremely special. There are students that you know you you know that they're placed in your life for a reason, and Leonard is definitely one of those students. I can assure you that in five years, 10 years, 15 years, I'll still be in contact with Leonard Ruby. He's very special, um, holds a very special place in my heart. <laughs> and so I will also present you with the Superintendent of, of Excellence. And not only is Leonard uh, Ruby the star uh, student, but he is also in the top 10. And he is the only male in the top 10, so he's surrounded by nine women or nine girls on the, uh, on, the, on the billboard. The billboard is scheduled to go up, I think, May the 1st. It's the, if you're going towards the square, 
is the billboard uh, across the street from the old flea market on the right. And then uh, hopefully within the next few days, uh, Mr. Cooper and myself and uh, Board Chair Ms. Carolyn Bradford, we will uh, be uh, taking a, uh, a tour of Dade County and putting uh, the top 10 signs in the yard. So. All right, uh, I want to give a big shout out to our uh, CTA department, which is led by Miss Tanya Gatlin and also of the Alliance for Day. This past week, we held the, uh, the career fair for our students. Um, you know, last year was our fir the first time that we really had the career fair, uh, and we, uh, we surveyed the businesses that participated, and uh, they said, why don't you include juniors next year? So this year, we included juniors and seniors, and before some of the businesses left, They've already given us feedback and said, hey, how about including sophomores next year? So this year we had over 35 businesses in the Commons. It was an opportunity for our students uh, to go communicate with these businesses, see what they have to offer, but also allow these businesses to communicate with our students as well. It was a huge success. Um, and while the juniors were uh, talking, uh, or in the career fair, our seniors uh, were in the auditorium hearing from Dale Alexander. All of our seniors received a copy of this book, uh, and uh, Dale provided the seniors with the talk, and that talk is about money. And you know, there's a you can go on uh, Dale, Al Dale Alexander's website and uh, watch the video of pretty much the same speech. But what he communicated to the basically what he communicated to the uh, seniors was. When they get out in the real world and they get that first paycheck, learn to live off 70% of that income. Make 70% their 100. Take 20% uh, and invest it, and then uh, give 10% away. So it was it was a great uh, uh, a, a great speech. Uh, he was very engaging. He you know he had the uh, students' attention. It took, it took just a few minutes, but you know, about 10 or 15 minutes into it, they were really in tune. They were leaning in and listening to what he had to say. Several of them had questions for him uh, after it was over, and he was also uh, available to uh, sign the books for students um, out in the commons during the senior portion of the career fair. Uh, we were in the process of looking for sponsors locally to purchase a copy of this book several months ago, uh, but over spring break, uh, superintendents received a email from our state superintendent. The governor had purchased every senior in Georgia a copy of this book, so it just kind of kind of worked out. So uh, I'm excited to read it. Uh, I've told my 18-year-old son he's going to read it. So, uh, but it was it was great to have him on campus. Uh, another thing, um, our supplemental benefits such as uh, our health, or excuse me, our vision, dental, life insurance, Dell Alexand Alexander and Company, they are uh, our brokers. So uh, we have a previous relationship with, with Dell Alexander, uh, with him being the broker for our uh, supplemental uh, benefits for our employees. So it was a great, it was a great day to have uh, Dell Alexander on campus plus also allowing those students to uh, walk around and have conversations with each one of those businesses. Uh, character shout outs. Uh, this is uh, the character word for this month was honesty. And so congratulations to uh, these individuals from Dade Elementary. Pictured here, we have Miss Stevie Carver. We have Chandler, Lof uh, Chandler Lofty and Logan Brown. And from Davis Elementary, receiving the Character Award for Honesty, we have Grayson Buckner-Brown, Lacey Lancaster, Peter Spurgeon, 
and Miss Grace Brown uh, from Day Middle School receiving the Character Award for Honesty. We have Miss Kristen Green, Allie Frazier, and David Gass. And then from the high school receiving the Character Award for Honesty, we have Alabama McFetridge, Kylie Massari, Katie Stone, Braylon Sullivan, and we had a tie for our staff members, Mr. Stan Gibby and Miss Tammy Stevens. So congratulations to all these individuals for uh, receiving the Character Award for the month of April. And that concludes my report. The next item um, is uh, information items, and the first one is department reports. So we have Ms. Susan Reyes here to present department reports, and she is going to update us on a, on a spectacular event that took place this past Friday. Well, we had our <clears throat> annual day games, and we had it up at the New Salem Community Center. Had quite a turnout. We had about 42 students who participated. Um, lots of families came out and participated. Um, if you look at pictures, um, we had our seniors uh, carry the leave the students in. They carry the banner. Um, we had a, quite a parade that left from the high school. The band kind of sent, sent them off. Um, we had fire truck. We had several police cars. Um, Bay County Sheriff's deputies. Um, it was fun. You can see our superintendent down there. He participated in some of the games. We uh, purchased some inflatables, and um, when the owner of the company found out what we were doing, he brought every inflatable that he wasn't renting. So we got about $1,500 worth of extra stuff, and the kids got off the bus and were like, what? They had the best time um, with those inflatables. I think we got a couple more. Um, every student got a medal and um, has the, the Olympics uh, emblem on the front and then we had the DC logo with David <coughs> on the back. Um, they called it their swag. Um, thank you Ms. Bradford for presenting the medals to the students. They did lots of cute dances up to the stage. Um, <laughs> had a good time. The people from the New Salem Community Center fed everyone. I think they fed a total about 120 people. Um, grilled hammers and hot dogs and um, said anytime we want to come back, please come on back. And then I think there might be... We had several student volunteers up there. Yes, we did. I think that one right there on the top corner. Um, we have a Best Buddies Club that we have started at the high school and it is for students to um, support our special needs students and um, we had we had to narrow it down to nine so we had nine volunteers that came and um, they were seniors, so they said they wished they had, weren't seniors so they could come back next year. Um, but you can see there, students had a fabulous day. Um, principals came out and played some of the games too, so it was, it was a fun time. And thank you very much. And any, the bottom left picture? Good. Yes, actually that is uh, our seniors. We have three students who are transitioning to a, um, it's a transition program called Project Search, and they will be working over at um, CHI Memorial in Fort O. There will be our three students from Dade, uh, two students from Walker County, and a student from Catoosa County, and they do um, some um, different transition programs, different uh, jobs. They'll do like waste management, um, they'll do housekeeping, they'll do um, you know, the food service, and the goal is not to work there. The goal is to develop a portfolio with job skills, um, and so I've, you know, I always talk about don't graduate to the couch, so our goal is to be able to have them come back to Dade County and get jobs over here. So we've got the students and the workers, we just got to get the, get the businesses to give them those jobs. What ages were in the games? We it? had, um, the youngest was six, and the oldest was 19. So it's K through 12. Thank you very much. Thank you. And speaking of student volunteers, we also had some student uh, volunteers. These students are from Bay County High School's uh, family, family, Community, and Career Leaders of America. 
FCCLA, you know, when I was in school, it was referred to as Home Ec. Uh, this organization is led by Ms. Patrice Whip, and these students volunteered at the Celebration of Hope uh, event this past weekend, which was held at Dade County High School, and they did an amazing job. This uh, event provided these students with real-world opportunities. Uh, so pictured here, uh, starting on the left, we have Ivy Knockley, Summer Holden, Katie Stone, Cameron Carter, Jelly Ballou, and Willa Lynch. And the front row includes Adelina Duran, Miss Witt, and Bella Johnson, and Aubrey Smith. And then not pictured is Jada Ballou, and she was in the child care room assisting with younger children for the event. So shout out to these students for being able to volunteer and provide service uh, during this Celebration of Hope event that was held this past weekend. They do. Financial reports are provided in accordance to our strategic plan, um, our goal number five. Um, so thus far, we've completed 75% of our fiscal year. That's July 1, 22 through March 31st, 23. So our first section is our revenue. Uh, we have had a slight increase in both ad valorem tax collections and TABT tax collections from March of FY22 to March of FY23. Um, total revenue, we've collected $16,379,538.51. And the majority of that is our PBE money, which is the state and local fund. On to our expenditures. We've expended $14,348,941.14. And again, the biggest, uh, the majority of that, over 70%, is towards instruction. So a recap for our general fund, our beginning balance for FY23 was $6,573,456.70. Our total revenue is $16,379,538.51. Our expenditures, $14,348,941.14, leaving us with a monthly balance as of March 31st of $8 million. $604,054.07 for the general fund. Moving to our SPLOSH funds. In SPLOSH 5, um, we, our previous month's balance was $1,778,381.21. We earned $243.76 in interest. Uh, we have outstanding checks for $14,108.94 leaving us with a balance in Splash 5 of $1,764,516.03. Um, in Splash 6, our previous month's balance was $3,426,085.38. We earned $558.04 in interest. Our sales tax distribution for Splash 6 was $258,176.04 leaving us with a balance in Splash 6 of $3,684,000, or $84,819.46. Um, in our Interfire account, which is tied to our Splash 6, um, our previous month's balance was $500,945.92. We earned $127.63 in interest, leaving us with a balance of $501,073.55. The next section that you guys have is just breaking down the monthly, showing up the monthly collections from FY21 to 22. We have seen a slight increase. And then from FY22 to 23, we have seen a slight decrease in our collections for squash. Um, and then the last section that you all have is a monthly expenditures for each facility and a year-to-date amount. 
our construction in progress right now we have two things kind of going on we've got our davis kitchen floor with integrated properties um, so far our original contract amount is one hundred sixty thousand and five dollars we have made two payments um, totaling one hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred eighty four dollars and fifty cents leaving us with a remaining balance for twenty six thousand six hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents um, the next program um, Construction project hasn't necessarily started. It's our HVAC system for uh, Jade Elementary School, and that's with Cherokee Mechanicals, and that is a total of one million two hundred seventy-four thousand, and we've not made any payments because it hasn't begun. And last but not least is our grants. Um, so far, we've expended roughly fifty-four point seven percent of our grants for this year, and um, leaving us with about forty-five percent left the rest of the year. And that's all I have. Do I hear a motion to approve the monthly financial and general fund reports? Mm -hmm. Second. Second. amended budget, Governor Kemp uh, appropriated uh, safety and security money uh, for each school uh, across the state of Georgia. Uh, so each school will receive uh, up to $50,000. Um, and you can only uh, you can only make purchases or you can only spend the money on items dated March the 10th, 2023, or thereafter, so you can't go back any uh, later. So the access control projects that we approved uh, back in the fall, we cannot, we cannot use that, those <coughs> funds to, uh, uh, as a, to reimburse the, the money that we've already uh, spent. So my recommendation would be to use the funds to upgrade our uh, Syntegix uh, safety software. Um, our current system is set to expire uh, this year. Um, and so my recommendation would be to uh, upgrade uh, each one of our schools up to $50,000. Um, they have provided us with two Make a motion. We put the second. Second. All in favor? Okay, that's it. <coughs> All right. And the next is personnel report. I recommend the board, uh, board approve the personnel uh, report as presented. Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve that report? Make a motion. We get the John. Okay. Second. And I'll have to abstain from vote on one person on the elementary school list. Okay. So Okay, I abstain from one person on the list also. So um, all in favor with the abstain for Daniel and the abstain for me. All right, did I hear a motion to adjourn? I vote. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor?